Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 27 of Young Good Pretty Girls. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> I would have did this last night, but, um, your girl got distracted by a game because everybody has been wanting me to download the Genshin game. So I was like, all right, okay, I'll play it. Cause I finished Fire Force and I was like, well, this ain't going to come out for me until like 10, 11 o'clock at night, maybe even nine o'clock. And so I played until like, I think one or two o'clock in the morning. That's a good game. And it's funny because Nadoka's VA plays the female protagonist. It's, it's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> That's cute. We get nothing but pretty other pretty kids. <laughs> like at first we got the Carolyn from over the moon. And now Star Twinkle. <laughs> I feel like the last one on the right was also another reference to a pretty kid show, but I can't think of it right now. But yeah, your your girl got distracted last night because it was like it was eleven o'clock, and I was like, "Should I play one more hour of this game, or watch Pretty Cure so I can have it come out tomorrow, and then go back to playing, or should I just do this tomorrow?" And so it was like <laughs> it was twelve thirty, and I was like, "Um, I'm just gonna do this tomorrow." <laughs> But don't worry, because of the fact is, I think what by next Saturday I should have all of my shows should be out by next Saturday. So I think I, I should be able to get it out by by. To, I'm about to say tomorrow, next Saturday night. I don't know. It depends because, like I said, this doesn't come out for me until like eleven, ten, nine, ten, eleven o'clock at night. Even though it comes on Control like eight thirty, but. They take like two, three hours to just get everything, and I'm like, you're just copying it from Grand Road in here, but it's okay. It happens. Plus, I still like to release it on Sundays. Okay, so, so no recap anymore? Good, straight to main story. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> He's such a big dummy. Like, you gotta like him, though. <laughs> Yes, Kobayashi. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the wind has to move it, you know? Mm. 
Oh, I know that feeling. <laughs> it makes you wonder about, like, the wind quality at night. I mean, because here in Florida, I've never really seen someone fly a hot air balloon, so, um, yeah. Unless it's like maybe when you go to Orlando for Disney. Have I ever? I don't think so. Speak of the birthday girl and she appears. <laughs> Kind of. So I'm guessing, you know, the Pronzu one and, um, Star Twinkle's spaceship, they're not going to be useful today. It's kind of upsetting. I think that heart one is supposed to represent one of the mascots. Hmm. about time. Because he's too far gone now. Oh. Oh. Oh, me. He even wants it. Oh, my God. To go play Animal Crossing. Go get my turnips.
You have the only still in now. Same thing with latte. Well, I mean, it's not that hard to find her. You have to take. Oh. Can I just say that anytime? Oh, anytime Umi gets really upset in a way like this. She just sounds like Love Live Umi, and it's not because it's the same freaking VA. It's just the way she is. <laughs> Even though Love Live Umi is not my best girl. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're probably wondering how can a 14, 15 year old girl predict the win? You're like, what you do? <laughs> you don't like videos and verb type ish. <laughs> She'll be fine. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use the hot air balloon as yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a cloud! Oh my god! Oh, even though it's getting hurt, it's still cute. Just trust her. Yeah, but Lante.
finally. No more separation. They're all together. And wind. <laughs> we about to shorten these transformations. Like, oh. That's usually when we're at the best part of the show. I mean, did you, are you really going to use that much, though? Even though he just used three, I feel like he used six. <laughs> I mean, you know. You know, one of them really big, big birthday balloons? That's me. You typically get those from, like, either the dollar store or any type of place that, you know, sells really nice, big, giant birthday balloons. I mean, of course you don't. You a bad guy. You don't really give a crap about anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I thought it was going to do? Like, come from above and just, like, chat. <laughs> So one more. 
And she did not just say what a few. There's only <laughs> Oh, no, no, guy, I love you so much. <laughs> The heck was that? Wait. Yeah, he is. Um. We're we're going the simple gear route. Uh huh. Uh huh. That oh, okay. Um. That didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. I, I don't know what to say about this episode. It was good, and then they came up with that ending. That was excellent. I mean, was not expecting it, but at the same time, because when he looked, when it was like, here, let's show the crystal. Let's show the crystal. Two sitting together. I'm so happy I didn't get spoiled on this, because, oh, if I did, oh. Oh. Something else is going to happen in this episode. Just showing that little bit right there in this preview that there's something else. They're hiding something else. And whatever's going to happen, I feel like this next episode is possibly going to be a two-parter episode with the way it's going. I, I mean, oh. Um, we about to go into another show where we about to have, like, a dark pretty cute for an episode or two or three. Like, oh, okay. Oh, this might be better than, um, what is her name? What is her name? What is her name? From Go Princess. Oh my god. I know it. I know it. Yeah, freaking, we're looking it up. <laughs> freaking Twilight. It's Twilight something. Before she turned into, um... Scarlet. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Toa. Yeah, there we go. Mm-hmm. Right? Toa? Haruka. Minami. Kira, Kira, Toa. 
mm-hmm. when she was Twilight. Mm-hmm. And she came, <laughs> she was Twilight. And she got the final key. Because, of course, the bad guy is the last pretty here for that season. That's a spoiler for people who didn't know, so I'm sorry for that. But I, if it's going to go the way I think it is, by the end of episode 28, we might have a dark cure grace, like, for an episode or two. It's making her sick, which I don't like. I mean, oh God, this really hurts. I don't know. I don't know how to feel after watching this. Like, I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm scared because Nadoka, I love her so much. Like, she's still my best girl, like... Because she's just so sweet and adorable, and the person, the similarities that me and her have. But, oh god, this just, this hurts my soul. Oh my god, this is like, this is gonna hurt more than like, um, I'm gonna go really old school on this. To people who've seen the show Wings Club, I think it was like season two, yeah, season two. When, and this is big, big spoilers for Wings Club Season 2, so if you don't really care about this, you can just end the video now. If you don't want to get spoiled, you can end the video now. But Wings Club has been out for a really long time, but still, I know there are people who are like, oh my god, like I'm getting into the series and it's like that. There's a point in Season 2 where um, Bloom gets... No. Darker puts something, puts a, like, a dark spell on Bloom, and Bloom becomes Dark Bloom for, like, several episodes until the season two finale, and stuff. That's what I feel like we're about to go with this right now. Even though they're not specifically showing it, it's kind of indicating that that's gonna happen by the end of episode 28, that we're going to see Nadoka go against her friends, and, of course, she's not gonna want that. I mean, it's the same thing with, um... Toa as Twilight before, you know, finally she was here. I don't, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel. But this was a good episode. I mean, this kind of went into, with the frustration thing, it kind of just basically told me that um, Umi is a sore loser in a way and not in a bad way because I know somebody's going to get pissed about me saying that and I'm not saying it in a bad way because we all are sore losers on anything that we're possibly passionate about or whatever. I mean, for me, this is a really funny moment. It, it wasn't really me. It was um, someone else <laughs> in middle school. I was on a basketball team for the course. I'm tall and when people see me, they're like, oh, okay. Mm hmm. Tall. It wasn't middle school, it was elementary. Um, tall girl. Mm hmm. You play sports. Yeah, I do. There was this one girl, one game at a school. It was, I think it was on like the weekend or something. I don't really remember. Uh, I had to, uh, like block the crap out of this girl. And this girl got so fucking frustrated with me. <laughs> Like, so bad. Like, at the end of the game, my mom told me she was, like, red in the face. But she enjoyed the game. Like, she had fun. I had fun. It's like that. But it just, it reminds me of how, like, anyone, no matter what you're doing, whether it is playing a game, doing whatever, yeah, it's okay to be a sore loser. But the fact is that, like, Umi was still passionate about it. And she was determined, like, nah, we're not going to have this happen again. You're not going to lose. And, like, even Latte. Latte was just, like, you know, puffing her chest up. Like, yeah, you gonna win this time. Like, mm, even though we didn't get to see them win. Because I get you, I bet you someone else possibly won. We'll never know about that. But it's okay. It's okay to lose something sometimes. You can't always win everything. But you just, no matter what, you keep trying your best. I think this was a really good learning experience for her. We've had about six episodes of Umi been learning something every single week, and now we're going back to main girls. Not, you know, an Umi um, focus episode with someone else getting a focus as well. We're now going into an episode that's going to feature nothing but Nadoka, or an episode of nothing but Chiyu, or an episode of nothing but Hinata being a focus base. Even though, like, yes, today is Hinata's birthday, even though since I found out, like, last night. Um, and I completely forgot 
what was going to happen in this episode from the preview from last week, I was thinking, oh, okay, well, since today is her birthday, she might be getting to focus episode on her because it, it's her birthday. I mean, <laughs> it would make the most sense, right? No. Not all the time, because, like, let's go back to last year with Star Twinkle, because, like, Uni's birthday is this month, October. I think her, Uni's birthday is either, I don't know, you know what, we're gonna cheat. <laughs> Uni's birthday should be either the day after mine, or two or three days after mine. Mine's on the 18th, so... Like the twentieth or the third. She's either the she's either the twentieth or she's like maybe the thirteenth or the fourteenth. I love the fact that I'm just making this video longer. <laughs> Uni's birthday is if we can find it really quick, please. And my super phone is just being stupid. October 11th. Okay, so she's coming up. But yeah, I think, because like, what? I think the day of her birthday, or the week of her birthday, she had an episode focusing on her. So yeah, that makes sense. But it is what it is. This was a really good episode. But like, that ending, that was good. Like, I need more of that in this show. Like, <laughs> like take me to the darkness. Like, I wasn't expecting that. Like, sometimes, you know, when you feel like a show is going, like, this way, and then it's a complete 360, and then it comes straight to the right or to the left or, like, up or down or whatever. I need that more with this. I mean, we're only 27 and uh, we're only 27 episodes into the show, and it's getting good. There were times where it was, like, where is this going and such, but it's getting better. And so I honestly cannot wait to see what's going to happen next week, but... I just want to go to next Saturday and just find out. But other than that, guys, that is very active towards episode 27 of Really Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Match Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially next Saturday, Sunday for episode 28. Bye, guys.